What's up everybody? Welcome to Earn It, Save It, and Invest It, where I talk about my own personal experience in the stock market, and I make my own opinions and predictions on what I think is going to happen in the stock market and economy. Tonight's video is going to be all about the Facebook crash, Netflix, Twitter, and how everyone's kind of freaking out and saying, you know, the next big crash is coming and the new recession and all that. I drew this up and if you could see on this side, it probably looks a lot worse than this side. You know, you have Twitter down 34%, um, you have Facebook down 21%, Netflix down 20 Shopify down 16 and Intel down 16 uh, This is all off somewhat recent highs that they've had. Snap is down 13 Amazon down 6 Google, Microsoft down 5 and Apple is only down 3 The reason why everyone's kind of freaking out is about Twitter, Facebook, and Netflix, how much they have dropped and how quickly they dropped. I kind of followed these and I kind of predicted that they would be dropping. I didn't think that they'd drop this heavy. I sold uh, Twitter a long time ago before it just shot up because I never thought it was really worth that much and it eventually came down to reality really, really fast. Their earnings were, it, it was aligned with analysts, but it was still so low that you can't justify, you know, the $45 that it was at. Facebook, they had slow growth. Um, they were not getting any more uh, users in North America. Uh, Netflix as well as not getting any more new subscribers. At least they're not getting as many as the analysts would like. And they dropped really, really fast, really, really hard after their earnings. Interesting is Shopify hasn't even announced earnings yet, and yet they have dropped down 16. Intel, they also went down 16%, and they had good earnings. It, it was aligned with, you know, everything, um, but, you know, they're dropping. Snapchat, I feel they're too volatile. Um, I, I, it's kind of with Twitter, they're, you know, everything kind of aligns, but it's just not really worth it. Amazon blew out of the water. They blew them, they did double the amount that the analysts were expecting. And yet, they're still down 6% off their recent highs. It went up 4% that day when they released their earnings, but then it went right back down, and they're still down 6%. Google is minus 5% and they had good earnings. They went up 3% and now they're back down. Uh, Microsoft as well, they had good earnings, still down 5% from recent highs. This is not just a one day drop or anything. Um, Apple's down 3%. They're the only ones who have not released earnings yet out of this list that I have. And I feel that Apple is kind of just, yeah, I got this little green star. If Apple says we don't see our company growing as fast as we wanted to in the next quarter. So I feel like that's going to have a huge effect on the market where people are going to freak out even more because Apple is one of the biggest. It is the biggest company currently. I think a lot rides on what happens in their earnings um, on Tuesday after market. So we're going to see what happens with that. But in all honesty, I, re I really think that everything's going to go back up as usual, if you look at the charts, you look at how everything goes over time. Um, and there's actually a few articles that I read that give me a few confidence, uh, give me some confidence about you know where things are going to be headed. The first one is by Jamie Dimon. He's the uh, CEO of Chase, and it says here he's not worried about the tech swoon because the economy looks quite strong. Consumers are in good shape. Their balance sheets are in good shape. There are no potholes out there. Lending has been pristine. Capital expenditures are going up. More people are going back to work. Unemployment may hit a post-war low at one point this year. Those are all positives. And we don't have the leverage in the system we did in 07. There's always going to be some sort of problem, but that is not the problem today. He's essentially saying we, we may have some, you know, some speed bumps and stuff, but things aren't set up the way they were in the financial crisis, the Great Recession. It's going to be a little bit harder to tank so hard, but at the same time, I do feel like there's always going to be some kind of way for things to tank, but again, there we have securities set up. The second article I read was from David Costin from Goldman Sachs. He said, investors should not let Facebook's earnings disaster last week scare them out of the entire technology sector. While Facebook's decline last week highlight the risk inherent in a narrow breadth market, market performance in its wake supports our strategic preference for technology and growth stocks. 
Although tech sector valuations stand near cycle highs, they remain low relative to long-term history. In the end, still tech stocks are the best performers of the year. Through Friday's close, this sector is up 14.1%, while the overall S&P index just gained 5.4. So obviously, technology is still doing well, it's still pushing, even though some big names are dropping really heavy, the overall market, the overall economy is doing fairly well. The third article I read was from Kramer from Mad Money, I'm sure you've heard of him. Kramer said investors could actually strike gold with the swath of stocks that collapsed on the heels of Facebook. The kind of panic we got today is often a cleansing action, like a big rainstorm that washes away the detritus of weak hands. If you wait until tomorrow and pick among the rubble of stocks that were only down as collateral damage, the ones that actually don't have anything to do with social media, then I think those are going to be bargains. The same trends that were so important before Facebook, cybersecurity, video games, Internet of Things, cloud onboarding, they're still important, but the related stocks have been reset in price. That's what many would-be buyers have been waiting for. When we get this kind of action, you have to say to yourself, hey, you know what? I was waiting for a big break in prices like we just had. Now it's time to put our money to work, scooping up some high quality stocks at much lower levels. That is almost exactly where I stand right now. I believe that everything has just dropped temporarily and things will be going up. I actually bought into Facebook after one of the dips and it's obviously dipped a little bit lower. But it's just going to keep going up. People get scared. It's all about emotions when it comes to stocks. People get very emotional. But when you look at it, they're growing. They're growing as a company, whether it's Facebook, Netflix, or economy. Things are growing. If you don't catch the bargains now, then you're never going to catch them. And whether it's a bargain or not now, if you're not investing at all, you should. Because the best time to start investing is now. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.